How's it going, everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we are taking a look at how I was able to get over 27,000 Capital Peak Gold just by simply hitting Barbarian Camps on various raids. So let's get into the first attack, and we shall see how I am setting up the base on the first attack and how I'm taking it out on the second attack. So with Barbarian Camp, it has a lot of ground targeting defenses. The most in the game, in fact. So it is highly advised that you do not use a ground army if you're trying to clear it out. What I have found to be very effective is using the graveyards, but using them with the rocket balloons and trying to take out as many air targeting defenses as possible on the first attack, and then trying to set up the second attack to be easily able to take out the air bombs and the rocket artillery. So here we're just sending in some of the, you know, random barbarians and clearing an opening. And now we're deciding where to drop the graveyards. We see a mostly exposed rocket artillery. So we have that graveyard for the second attack. And then we dropped in one graveyard over this air bombs and then one over this section in the middle because that will likely be where the balloons end up at the end of the first attack. We're now trying to send in one pack of balloons to each defense. The only exceptions are the air bombs. If we can directly target them, we'll try and send in two packs at once. Or if there is a Tesla or a rocket artillery, we will also try and send in two packs of balloons. Otherwise, if you're able to get a close enough drop on the balloons, you can have them speed towards air defenses spear throwers, and the rapid rockets, and they'll take them out very easily. So here we just have the one heroic minion doing work. Took out a couple more buildings, but is going to get stuck on that last giant. But we've also taken out this whole left compartment, so that on the next attack, these uh, northern air targeting defenses will be completely destroyed. And we also got the rocket artillery down to half health with that first graveyard spell. So we're also sending in one barbarian on this right hand side to make sure that we have access to this back end air defense if we need it. So now after that barbarian dies we drop the remaining graveyard spells just over the majority of the air targeting defenses left. So we're able to directly target the air defense down below and then we're just sending in one pack of balloons, one up top, one down here to try and get to the spear thrower. One on each of these defenses so they can work in parallel to try and get the next row of defenses. We're able to directly target the air defense on the back end side. And now the base is pretty much gone, the only exception being the last air bombs, but we have so many balloons left about... Well, before that last air bombs went off, we had ten, and now we have about six left which is pretty good we also have one additional pack just in case with the air balloons it is or the rocket balloons it is very important to spread them out if you drop them all in at once if there's any kind of splash damage at all they will be going down you will also lose the advantage of having them uh, speed towards their uh, targets so now we are taking a look at the next Barbarian camp. I found that it is pretty much my job to attack the Barbarian camps in my clan. Uh, seems a lot of people are unable to do it in two attacks. So if you're able to learn from this video, you might be the go-to person to clear out that base in a couple of the raids. What's nice about that is that the Barbarian camp gives you the most amount of Capital Peak Gold in two attacks. Unless you're able to find some very special bases where you can get, you know, five or six thousand in one attack. You know, it's pretty rare, very hard to spot as well. But this is a very consistent way to get between 24 and 28,000 Capital Peak Gold. At least at the lower Capital Peak level 8 area. So now that we've cleared a path, we're dropping the graveyards over the air bombs. The other air bombs and then some of the uh, air targeting 
defenses over here to distract them. And then we're just sending in one pack of balloons. We are using the minion trick for this air bombs. In, in case you're not familiar with it, if you have an air bombs that you can directly target, you can drop a minion pack that is in range. The air bombs will then lock on to the minions. And then you can send in two packs of rocket balloons to sprint towards the last air bombs. And the two packs of the level fours, they will take out the level one, two, three, and four air bombs very quickly. If your rocket balloons are a lower level, however, it is much more difficult. You may have to send in, say, three packs of level three rocket balloons to take out a level four air bombs. It gets very nasty when the air bombs are upgraded. So now that we've cleared most of the base, we even clear this left hand section so we can directly target these back end air defenses. We're also sending a pack of minions on the right hand side to take out these defenses so that we can sneak in some balloons into this quadrant so we can eventually take out the air bombs and the rocket artillery. So even though a lot of the balloons are low health, we still have three packs of balloons. And it's important to be patient and just wait to see where the balloons go and then to try to sneak them in as the defenses are distracted. You don't want to wait too long, you don't want to be too patient, but you do want to have a good plan and you want to know which defenses to target so that the balloons can take out the base. We even get 104 bonus gold. Now on to the last one for today's video, another barbarian camp. A little bit more tricky, a little bit of a different layout, which is fine. But you're still able to see that these ones are just under 9,000 in total for the Capital Peak Gold. So not a whole lot is upgraded. You know, we do have some higher level air defenses on this one. And there's not really a great way to get into the uh, backside of the base. So here we're just trying to put the graveyards over the rocket artillery and then two of the air bombs. Now we're just trying to send in one pack of balloons to each of the air targeting defenses. I know it gets repetitive, but that's all I'm doing. Trying to send them in one at a time. And then we were trying to break open this wall. Unfortunately, the ram went to where the giants were at. Because uh, we want to try and open up access to this left side of the base by bringing in a few barbarians. Or not barbarians, but the, uh, the rams. And then the barbarians from the rams can take out some of the trash buildings. So we didn't get a whole lot of the base on this first attack. But we still set it up nicely for a second hit. So we're able to break open the first wall here. And we notice that this back end layer is completely open. So once this defense goes or this uh, building goes down, it will open up the entire left side for deployment. So now we are in business. Now we're able to get even closer to some of the key defenses. So we're dropping in two on this Tesla. Dropped in one on the cannon and then had the balloon split. Dropped two on the other Tesla. The Teslas do a lot of damage, but you can also distract them with a pack of minions if you feel inclined to. Um, a lot of times I've been finding that just sending in two packs pretty quick we'll take them out and as you can see we have taken out the entire base and we have a bunch of balloons left what was that two four six eight ten twelve ish balloons left so we should be getting a lot of bonus gold on this one an extra hundred and twelve and we even get six thousand one hundred and five plus the bonus from one attack which is crazy so hopefully this is able to help you out. I highly recommend using air attacks for the Barbarian Camp, unless it is a very bad layout. But even still, it is kind of risky to use ground attacks on the Barbarian Camp. Uh, if you want to help support me and the channel, you are welcomed and encouraged by myself to subscribe and like the video. It really helps me out. And there should be a couple more videos on the screen if you want to check them out. Thanks for watching. Take care.